They pound to the ground in their dark as death mounts, their howls as wild as a storm left at sea. And the air is set there, all soft and all kind and all comforting sound. Not a breath, not a beat, not a prayer, not a whistle against the hoof coming and grind and a bit back on the bristle. Just down, they went down, they went nigh of my steed, full hardy and young and half crazed, and I he waited and waited to join their stampede. It wasn't as strange as they swept down that hill. I toyed with the unbridled before and deep down. And I desired nothing more than to toy with them again and still. I envied their freedom, free reign to their rage. It was the unbridled starkness of their wild galloping passion. I prayed. Was it conceit? Was it indulgence? To believe this world only submission. An eye for an eye and a blaze for blaze, the arrogant demand for Jews to be Jews to be paid and debts to be given. Oh my god! For Jews to be given and debts to be paid, as dumb I do headed, pig martyred but brave. I wait in the stoical silence to flesh out the unbridled ranks of their advancing campaign. Perhaps I thought I was immortal, perhaps I thought that I deserved more. But as I ready steadied nerves for battle, spirits crying, saddle mounted high as I launched my steed and howled the hound of the bloodthirsty cry. I did not expect to find my action would prove to be fatal. Oh, do not look me in the eye, do not tell me what a fool I've been. Do you not think that each time I gallop by the by, I do not think of all the fates I threw away, of all the futures lost that might have been. But who here would not indulge the urge of chance forgiven? To shrug off the heaving weight that is a saddle laden, bright old constraint of time and space that seeks to pull us down and mar our dreams combined with taint of crowds. Who would prefer to see us dressed in rags than steeped in sequined robes that mark us out of those that chose to clothe ourselves in unbridled freedom? Who here, I ask? For though as a ghost I am now cursed to roam, play sepia streets. Where once I played and many times I might have wept and now I find I only grieve. I cannot regret that for just one moment in the hands of time's almighty flock. I pound to the ground on my darkest death mat, my howls as wild as a storm nettled sea. And though I was struck bare of all soft and all kind and all comforting care, and though I paid the price, and oh yes, I should have thought twice, I have confession to share. A secret. When I bridled my rage on that dark, fateful night, guess what? I loved it.